I am uh, Dr. G.P. Visubaya, Spine Surgeon, Sunshine Hospitals, Hyderabad. Hi kids, so would you like to know a little bit about uh, the spine? The spine is a structure which extends from uh, the base of the skull, that means base of the head up to the buttocks. It is the one which is important for maintaining uh, the correct posture. So do you know the difference between the human beings and the animals? The human beings are erect, we walk on two legs, whereas all the animals walk on four legs. So why we are erect is the spine. The, the one which is responsible for the erect posture is the spine. So spine is the most important and one of the most important structures in the body. Having said that, there are uh, quite a few problems we see, spine problems we see in uh, children. So if you look at the normal uh, shape of the spine, if you see from the back, it is absolutely straight. Whereas if you see from the side or if you see the spine in profile, it has a few curvatures, it's kind of S-shaped. So some sort of concavity in the neck, convexity in the upper back, and the concavity in the low, lower back. So this is the normal shape of the spine. If you look from the back, it looks straight. If you look from the side, it, it looks S-shaped. So if there is any alteration in the shape of the spine, that is known as that what we call spinal deformities. And these spinal deformities are very common in children, especially between 10 and 15 years of age. So there are two types of spinal deformities we see. One is called scoliosis and the second one is called kyphosis. Scoliosis is nothing but sideward bending of the spine. That means spine bends towards one side. This is a very common problem seen in approximately 10% of the children. So that means it's a very, very common problem. And kyphosis is forward bending of the spine and we also call it as hunchback. So how to detect these problems at, a, at an early age or an, at an early stage? So out of these two deformities, the scoliosis and kyphosis, scoliosis is much, much common problem. So the children having scoliosis, that means the sideward bending of the spine, can be easily detected by mere inspect, merely inspecting the spine. So how, how do you do that? So if you look at the shoulders of the children, Normally, in, in normal children, both the shoulders are at equal level. But if one shoulder is at a lower level, the other shoulder is at a higher level, then you know the child might be having scoliosis. The second thing we have to look at is the shoulder blades. From the, from the back, normally both the shoulder blade, blades are at equal level and they are equally prominent on both sides. Whereas in children with scoliosis, one is at a lower level, the other is at a higher level. One shoulder blade is prominent, the other shoulder blade is less prominent. So this can be seen easily if you just look at the child. And the third important thing is, once you stand, there is a gap between your tummy and the arm. So the arm, this distance is equal on both sides in normal children. If it is kind of reduced on one side or increased on the other side, then the child might be having this scoliosis. So keep observing the children, look at the shoulder levels, look at the shoulder blade levels, look at the distance between the arm and the tummy. So if you see any difference, just consult your nearby orthopedic surgeon. And you know, they take measures to prevent progression of this scoliosis. If you, if you neglect this problem, there is a strong possibility this becomes further and this the spine becomes crooked and that can eventually lead to the death of the child also. So detect this, keep observing the children and try to know a little bit about uh, the spine.